At that time, my friends and I held an intercession prayer at the church for young people, for the church, and for Indonesia, as usual, something strange happened to me, we praised and worshipped the Lord, we all spoke in tongues, truly we felt his presence and touch, it turned out that this was the beginning of my journey with God to heaven and hell, after the intercessory prayer was over, all who prayed stopped speaking in tongues, except for me, I was surprised because the Holy Spirit still controlled me so that my heart churned, and my tongue could not stop speaking in tongues, after praying, we discussed what each one received from God in prayer, but I was silent and all I could do was smile when my friends asked me what I got from God in prayer, because whenever Elizabeth tried talking, she would break out in tongues, in my heart, I asked the Lord, O oh Lord, why can't I stop speaking in tongues, so, my friend escorted me home, in the middle of the journey my heart felt sad, confused, and I cried, when I got home, my mother was confused and was panicking about my situation of not being able to speak Indonesian, my friend explained to my mother that this was a process from God, even though my heart was upset, I tried to join in explaining to my mother by writing on a piece of paper, calm down mum, this is all a process from God, so, my mum became calm, my first meeting with the Lord Jesus, I could not sleep because I still could not believe what was happening to me. I couldn't imagine how tomorrow would go in college and at work, at my study desk, I sat with my head on the table, I cried, sad and confused, I did not know what to do, it all felt very stressful, when I was in extreme sadness, suddenly a hand touched my shoulder and called my name, Elizabeth, a very soft, but firm voice was heard clearly in my ears, I was very surprised, my heart was beating fast, I kept my head down but slowly I glanced and looked a little to the left, I saw a long white robe draped to the floor, I almost ran into my bedroom scared because I thought it was a ghost, my heart beat faster, the voice came back speaking beside me, Elizabeth, it is I, don't be afraid, shortly after hearing this soft voice, I turned my gaze towards the books and tried little by little to look back to my left side, to my surprise, a hand suddenly appeared placed on my desk right next to my hand, the hand had a hole in the wrist, between the palm and the artery, the hole was quite large, while I looked at his hand, the soft voice came again, do not be afraid my dear child, it is I, the Lord Jesus, whom you have been worshipping, it is I, hold my hand, I am real, I slowly held his hand, the hand was physical and tangible, not spirit like, really, the hand with the hole was real. I put my index finger in the hole of his hand, as if I could not believe that it was the Lord Jesus, I also saw the holes on the feet of the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus wore golden brown sandals like a Roman soldier, this was really real, I saw his robe also and I slowly held it, then I raised my head and saw the face of the Lord Jesus, it was truly like a dream, his soft and firm face looked at me and smiled. When I looked at him, my body felt weak as if my bones were loose, strangely my heart felt peaceful, there was joy that overflowed, the Lord Jesus caressed my head, like a further loves his child, don't be afraid my child, what you are experiencing is my will, all from me, I nodded my head and answered softly, yes, Lord, but what will happen to all the activities and responsibilities that I have to do? I have to go to college and work. Do not be afraid my dear, I am the one who arranges everything, I am with you said the Lord while hugging me, I nodded my head O oh Lord, I want to, I said softly while shedding tears, all the words of the Lord were heard clearly in my ears, after that, the Lord disappeared, I was holding my mouth while saying to myself, I felt that when I spoke with the Lord Jesus I could speak in Indonesian, but apparently not, tongues was still my language. It appeared that I was expressing my heart in Indonesian, it was then that I understood that when we pray in tongues, only God and our spirit understand, nobody else understands, not even angels, let alone devils, after this incident, I felt tired and then rested, when I woke up in the morning, I felt thirsty and wanted to drink water, how surprised I was when I drank, the water could not be swallowed, like there was a membrane in my throat, the water came back out, I couldn't eat or drink, 
I then remembered the message of the Lord Jesus last night, so I decided to surrender and submit myself to him, this was a process from God, I reminded myself, after that I got ready for college and, as usual, I walked from home to take public transport, I was perplexed at how I was going to take public transport, how could I communicate with a driver to stop at where I want to get off. I became increasingly perplexed at the situation because every public transport that I wanted to board was full, but God kept his promise, he arranged everything, another public transport came and I got a seat right behind the driver so that when I needed to get off I didn't need to talk, I just gave a pat on the driver's shoulder for him to stop, both going to and returning from college, there was always an empty seat for me, right behind the driver, similarly, in college I was perplexed about how to communicate with friends, when they spoke to me, I just nodded or shook my head as if mumbling something or just smiled, my tongue felt numb, my friends would ask, is your mouth sore with ulcers? Or they would say, maybe you're stressed, you're just smiling and not talking, and so on, inside, God is putting me through a process. I just accepted it. Even my closest friend who lived in the same housing complex as me said what's wrong with you? You're weird, all you do is shake or nod your head, mutter or just smile, yet each time I was judged like this, I just surrendered myself to God, the gates of hell in the evening I prayed at church with the prayer team, while praying, I felt my physical body being in church, but my spiritual body was in a dark place and I heard crying and screaming. Right in front of me was a dark gate, the door opened by itself, to the touch, it felt sticky like phlegm and of the color blackish green, when I entered, there were huge pillars, also blackish green and sticky like mucus. The road that I walked on was like mud, slimy and not very wide, on the left side of the road, there is a vast sea of fire, millions of people were in it, on the right, there was a vast sea of worms with millions of people in it. I was surprised why I was in this place, where was this? I was scared and confused, my fear vanished when the Lord Jesus came beside me, the Lord Jesus was robed in white, wearing sandals like a Roman soldier, his hands and feet had holes, his face was tender and loving, and his hair was slightly wavy golden brown. He held my hand, I also wore a white robe and sandals resembling those worn by the Lord Jesus, in the spiritual body. I was 12 years old while in the physical, I was 20 years old, around the place was very scary, many demons walked around of various forms, some were big, some were the size of ordinary people, some were female and some were male in various forms that were very scary, some had bodies full boils, some had a horn behind the head, some had two horns, and so on, even though the evil spirits walked around me. They could not touch me because my whole body was enveloped in the light of the glory of the Lord, and there was also the Lord Jesus beside me, that's why even though I felt the heat, the fire couldn't burn me. After seeing the area, my spiritual body returned to the church, the pastor asked my mother about my situation, then he prayed for me, he also said that on the same day I first spoke in tongues and could not stop. There were three fellow Golden Lamp Ministry in Jakarta who also experienced the same thing, the only difference was that they stopped speaking in tongues that same day, whereas I didn't, after he prayed for me, it turned out that he also received the same message from God that I must carry out this process for 40 days, Hell's Gate on day 4, in the evening, I prayed with the church prayer team, God brought my spiritual body to a different place from the place I saw yesterday. The Lord and I stood before a large bronze-colored gate, shining brightly, with curiosity I touched the door and wanted to enter it, but the Lord Jesus wanted to show me something else, he showed me the place below, the place where the day before I had visited, the Lord Jesus said that the place was hell, I saw, from above, that the place was shaped like a human body with arms outstretched while the legs were straight together, it was just like the Lord Jesus on the cross. The Lord Jesus was crucified for everyone so that no one would enter hell, after I saw that, my eyes returned to the big gate in front of me, I was curious about what was behind the gate, and wanted to enter it, but the Lord Jesus took me back to hell, I entered the door that looked like a mouth, I heard the Lord say, therefore, be careful with your words, 
because with your mouth you can praise the Lord, with your mouth you can also speak dirty words and blaspheme the Lord, James 3 verse 9 With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings, who have been made in God's likeness, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing, my brothers and sisters, this should not be, can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water, I entered the place which, when viewed from above, was like the head and neck, I walked to look at the left side, there was a sea of fire there, on the right was a sea of worms, in the two seas there were millions of people, they cried, reeling in pain and shouted for the Lord Jesus, I looked to the left, there were millions of people who wore white, yellow, etc., I tried to get closer to the edge of the lake of fire, many of them moaned crying, forgive me Lord Jesus, I want to believe in you, I also begged the Lord Jesus, that the Lord Jesus would forgive them, they were from various nationalities, they were black, white, red, yellow, brown, but the Lord Jesus only answered, it is too late, when you were in the world you were given the opportunity to believe in me and repent, but you did not take the opportunity, so, if we live until now it means that there is an opportunity from the Lord Jesus to repent and believe in him, do not let us waste the opportunity. Millions of people in the sea of fire were burned from toe to head, like a melting candle. They were burned to the ground but then their bodies grew back again as they were before, then the fire burned them again until they melted, this happened continuously, repeatedly, there was no stopping, the fire is eternal, this lake of fire is specifically for those who do not believe in the Lord Jesus, on the right, there were millions of worms eating away at millions of people, as soon as one worm bit a human, blood flowed out of the body there were millions of worms eating away at the human bodies, blood flowed everywhere, and millions of people experiencing it, they were gnawed until their bodies were depleted, their bones also gnawed, but then their bodies grew back again as before and then got gnawed again, this happened continuously over and over again, there was no stopping. The worms that never die, Isaiah 66 colon 24, and they will go out and look on the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me the worms that eat them will not die, the fire that burns them will not be quenched, and they will be loathsome to all mankind, they shouted, Lord Jesus forgive me, they reeled in pain, but the Lord Jesus said to me, it is too late, when they were in the world, I gave them many opportunities to turn to me but they did not take the opportunity, then the Lord Jesus took my hand and we walked to a deeper place, on the way, suddenly I felt alone, I looked to my right and was shocked and scared, it turned out that I really was alone, the Lord Jesus had left me. I was really scared and feeling weak until finally I lay motionless there, leaning against the wall of hell, I could no longer stand the fishy smell of blood, the smell of burning bodies, and the shrill cries of people which were so painful to my ears, I lay there in hell, not long after, I felt a strong and gentle hand holding me, my heart felt peaceful as I looked at his face smiling at me. I was in his arms, on his lap, I will never forsake my children, but often many of my children, in their problems, which they think are so severe, think I have forsaken them, I actually never left them, on the contrary it is they who left me. It was the soft voice of the Lord Jesus speaking with sadness as if about to cry, 2 Timothy 2 verse 11 here is a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we will also live with him, if we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us, if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. The impact of this trip on my physical body made me feel very weak, I felt unable to stand, so, one of my friends in my prayer team took me home, in the morning I returned to college as usual.